Hello friends, it is Monday the 15th of November and I am currently with some littles getting them ready for bed. And I thought I'd show you my lovely style and uh, my hat since the one baby who currently doesn't have any clothes on. Um, I mean, she's got a diaper on, but she's not putting her jammies on. So I thought I would wear her jammies. What do you think, little bear? Should I wear your jammies? She's not a fan. I'll check in with you in a minute. like all the three t's hey friends it is monday the 15th just filling you in i know i had a clip earlier um, when i was playing with the babies but they're finally in bed i've been doing some cleaning and doing some rereading um i have had a good day i got about 1300 words earlier today um and that brought me to a rewrite of a of the major battle scene and while it's gonna need to be re rewritten again to be better I've got all the major moving parts and so now I know where people are what they're doing how they're defeating the big bad or the henchmen of the big bad as it were um, really excited about that I'm really really thrilled with it didn't get any more reading in but I have a plan for how to revise my first three chapters and I've been really itching to do that so I think it's gonna be my goal for this week I'm sitting at just about, um, just shy of 53,000 words. So I want to add an additional 1,400, which will get me to 54, I think. Um, and if I can do that, then I'll be in my range. And I will feel very good about diving into a revision. Um, really going to work on honing my first three chapters and then revising a couple chapters that I feel like aren't quite where I want them. And then letting it rest for a little while and then doing a big revision pass um, where I fix some of the big problems. I have a lot of foreshadowing to add for the big bad and things like that. So feeling good about it. Feeling good on a Monday. Tired. Going to go to bed now and maybe get up early and work on it tomorrow. Hey friends, it is Tuesday the 16th of November <clears throat> and I am doing a laundry and catch up conversation because my husband did a bunch of laundry yesterday and I am the folder of said laundry. So I am getting a bunch of laundry folded while we chat. So last night, I think I updated you. I got 1300 words yesterday, putting me at, at 52,600 and change. So a cool 1400 to 2400 uh, words from my kind of base goal, 54 to 55,000. Um, and then I had a stretch goal of reaching um, 60,000. And that was one of the goals I really hope to reach this month. But I'm going to pause that actually, because um, I think what I want is to go through and do, uh, go back to my outline and figure out where the chapters are, figure out better places for the chapters to break. And then I want to basically rewrite the entire first act. And the first act has to be scrapped. I think I've mentioned this. Um, I'm gonna save a few pieces, like plot points, but the actual first act is gonna have to be scrapped. Catch up on the babies. So um, yeah, first the first act basically is gonna have to be scrapped. It's just a lot of meandering and not enough action and tension, which is fine. This is the whole point of having a zero draft and a rough draft. You go back and you revise it, right? <clears throat> so what I plan on doing is rewriting those first three chapters really using them to get a lot of work done and shortening <clears throat> the, I got a tickle, sorry guys, um, shortening that first act to really focus on getting them across the wall, across the gate into the forest, but really highlighting the, the dynamics between the two brothers who are foils for each other and the one who we have a really close third POV to the older brother giving you a sense of who he is, really, really uh, sharpening what it is he wants and why he can't have it and how that's actually going to continue to be the same thing that he wants, but different as he travels, like as he journeys. So I'm excited. Um, I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna accomplish everything. I've got to do a better job with the setting. I basically have kind of like white wall syndrome right now. So that's something else that has to get done. And y'all, I'm trying to do this in less than, 40 pages. Like I'd love for them to be crossing the gate into the magical forest and basically breaking into the second act in 
30 to 35 pages. Like that's the goal, which you can do for middle grade, right? Like middle grade, you're allowed to have really, really short um, setup and everything, but can I do it? Am I talented enough of a writer to do it? I don't know. So at any rate, that is the update. I haven't written today. It is only uh, just about 10 o'clock now. And as you can see, it is, uh, it is my laundry folding day. So I'm gonna keep up with that and I will let you know if and when I write some more. Good morning. It is about 8 a.m. on Thursday, the 18th of November. And I have not been updating because life has been really busy. Um, I'm tired. The girls got up at 4.45 this morning and are still going. And Mama is on her third cup of coffee and I'm dragging, friends. I'm dragging. Um, haven't been writing. I got 1,300 words on Monday and or Sunday, Monday, whichever day that was, and I haven't written any more. Not a word. Feeling like I hit a bit of a wall because now that I have all of the major, like I have the whole draft-ish done, now I need to go back and kind of reread it and start filling in gaps. There's lots of gaps to fill in. I just now need to start thinking about it. So I don't know. It feels intimidating. It feels hard. It feels like imposter syndrome has set in and it's like, am I a good writer? Is this even worth it? I, I don't think creatively enough. I'm not smart enough. I'm not creative enough. Like it's just that voice of if you were worthy, one of your other manuscripts would have sold while you're doing this kind of voice that is still in my brain. And it both helped and didn't help that I read a book yesterday. I listened to the audiobook of Lockwood and Co. Uh, the first one, The Screaming Staircase by Jonathan Stroud, which is A plus for the middle grade horror slash suspense paranormal thriller. Uh, it creeps me out. I don't like horror. I don't read horror. I don't I haven't read The Ninth House by Lee Bardugo because I can't do horror. I'm there for the vibe, like with Dark Academia vibes, but actual horror can't do it, too much anxiety. So this is as close as I can get to horror. Loved it, thought it was great. But the flip side of reading this really excellent book is that now I'm like, oh, well, I'm a terrible writer, so why do I try? Anybody else have that problem where you read something and you love it and then you're like, well, I suck, so why am I writing? I know that I'm comparing, you know, my essentially working first draft to something that has been drafted and then revised numerous times and then has had a professional editor reading it. So I know that, but it's still hard not to compare, right? It's still hard not to compare. So I haven't been writing. I really want to get 1400 words before the end of Sunday. That's my goal. If I can get 1400 words before the end of Sunday, I'll be at 54,000. That leaves me about 6,000 words of wiggle room for my current kind of goal. I really don't want to go too far over 60,000 words for this first book, which means a lot of tightening because there's a lot of plot points to add. So that's where I'm at. I'm tired. My in-laws were supposed to come yesterday, but they had a minor car accident. There was some debris in the road that they hit and it actually tore up into the bottom of their car and like busted their gas tank and their gas leaked out over the road. They're really lucky there wasn't a fire or anything. They are safe. They're totally safe. But now we're waiting on them getting a rental car so they can come today and visit because my husband leaves for a work trip tomorrow at like 3.30 in the morning. So it is, it's just busy. And when it's this busy and the babies aren't sleeping, my bandwidth for creativity, it just disappears. And you have to be honest with where you are and you have to like allow that because we're all human. You know, this is not my day job. This is my, my passion hobby. So sometimes you have to put things on hold. That's where I'm at. If I get any words in, I will let you know. Hey friends, it's Brecky and it is November the 19th, Friday, November the 19th. And I have not been writing. I have not written any words until today on my lunch break at work. I wrote 250 words in an hour. That's where I'm at. I've, I've stalled, I've hit the wall. The creativity feels very dry. So sitting at uh, just shy of uh, 53,000 words, really wanting to get into the 54, 55,000 word mark before the end of the month. We're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna rewrite the first three chapters. I have been doing a lot of reading. I think I told you guys that I've already finished all of Lockwood & Co. Loved The Screaming Staircase, super creepy. Don't know that I'll finish with this series. I'll keep going simply because it was a little bit too creepy for me, but I really loved the characters and the world building. So I don't know. I'm going to decide, see if I really want to keep going with it. But I enjoyed the first one. It was five stars for me. Loved it. Super creepy, super, super atmospheric. Seemed a little bit old for middle grade, but 
uh, you know how things are. So I started another book. I started the Nevermore series by, I think her name is Jessica Townsend. So the first book is The Trials of Morgan Crow, about halfway, just shy of halfway through. Really enjoying it. Really, really enjoying it. I think there are four or five books so far. I can see myself continuing with this one because it's it's got a little bit of creepiness, but it's more quirky um, and everything. So I'm really enjoying that. But I wanted to bring you along and show you, I got myself a present. Uh, this was my 50,000 words self reward. So I broke 50,000 words on this manuscript. And per the encouragement of Sarah Cannon and her heart breathings kind of vibe is that you reward yourself when you hit milestones. And since I hit the milestone of having 50,000 words and a complete working first draft of the middle grade uh, novel, I am going to open my gift to myself. I asked a couple of weeks ago for some beauty recommendations. I'm looking for some good skincare as I get older and I enter my uh, mid to late 30s. I really want really good skincare. I also hate wearing a lot of makeup, so good skin is a great way to not have to wear quite as much. And I got some good recommendations. One of them came from the lovely Alexa Dunn and she suggested Paula's Choice, which I'd never heard of. You can get it at Sephora, but I ordered it directly. And it's not fancy, okay, so you can see. It's not a fancy gift set, but I did uh, splurge a little and got a few things. So the first thing that I got was the Paula's Choice Pore Reducing Toner um, with niacinamide. And it's because I've got some pretty large pores. So I got a big one of these. Um, I got the anti-redness exfoliating solution with salicylic acid um, and I've been looking for a good uh, sort of chemical exfoliant because I get so much flakiness in my t-zone it's unbelievable and as I've gotten older I used to have really oily skin but now it's becoming very dry so um, and so to go along with that was the super antioxidant concentrate serum with vitamin C super fancy um so got these and then um one of the bonuses was this intensive wrinkle repair retinol serum um i don't know this was a bonus for buying more than a certain amount um, and then i don't think i realized this but i have i got a couple of extra things so i got the pore normalizing cleanser i don't even remember ordering this but i did or maybe this is one of the bonuses don't remember but then I got this kit and now I realize I basically ordered two of the same thing <laughs> that's what I get for not reading everything closely <laughs> well I hope I like it because I now have two of these um, and then it also came with this exfoliant so this is a different kind of exfoliant um, it is 2% BHA lipid exfoliant with salicylic acid skin perfecting which is what I want I want perfect skin and then this is a niacinamide treatment um, for specific areas, I guess. I don't know. Um, so I got kind of a, a bunch of things. It was, it was, you know, not, it depends upon what you mean by expensive and what your like realm of expense is. This is, this is my like skincare for like the next six, six months is what I, is what I've purchased. Um, but uh, I'm not sad about it. Uh, I just, yeah, I got to find a really good like day cream. Um, let me, let me show you. So here is, here's what I got. And, uh, you know, it, it was between 100 and 150 dollars less than 150 more than 100 um and to some people that's what they would spend on just a cream and to other people that's what they would spend for like a whole year so um this was a splurge to me but it was a reward for working really hard on this manuscript and testing out a bunch of different things although i had no idea i was buying two of the same um pore toner so i hope i like it otherwise that would be a waste but um that was that's kind of a big thing is I got this cool all these neat stuff anti-redness exfoliating solution which I have rosacea so I'm all about that life um so yeah that's what's going on I just have not wanted to write so I went up to my office got a bunch of things done and then just sat on my lunch break normally I'm a power hour writer and I was like pulling teeth I just don't feel creative so I don't know if I'm just tired if I'm worn out 
if I push so hard in the beginning that now I'm you know slowing down again I thought I kind of paced myself and gave myself plenty of days off so I'm not really sure what that is but hopefully this weekend I'll catch up I really want my first three chapters rewritten. I really want to go back and um, look at some of the chapters that I know are underwritten and re-outline everything. That's my goals before Sunday. So will she do it? No one knows. But you know what? I will have really great looking skin. So that will be a win. I turn away again. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Hello friends, it is Monday the 22nd of November and giving you a little bit of an update. I have not written at all this week. Um, aside from what was it like Monday or Tuesday when I got like 1300 words, I have not written anything. This weekend was supposed to be a writing weekend and I just couldn't focus. My in-laws came into town because my husband has been out of town on a business trip and y'all, my brain has just not been in creative mode. I did read a lot. I actually read three audiobooks um, this week. Lockwood & Co., which I've already mentioned. I just finished Nevermore yesterday, uh, the first book in the Nevermore series, The Trials of Morgan Crow, which I really, really enjoyed. It was a really good, fun uh, middle grade book. And then I read a novella um, by Courtney Mil Milan, The Governess Affair, which is the novella that starts off or is like a prequel to her the Brothers Sinister or Sinister Brothers trilogy. So, and I enjoyed that. It needs a lot of trigger warnings. I might talk about it later, but it, it really needed a lot of trigger warnings around sexual assault. Uh, that's the whole premise of the book is that the main character is sexually assaulted, and I wish I'd known that. Um, it wasn't graphic, but I wish I'd known going in. So um, I didn't love it for that reason. It wasn't bad. It's just I wish I'd known. I wasn't prepared for that. Anyway, um, so I got some reading done, which is good. Um, and need to get some writing done. So I'm going to get focused and uh, do a power hour for my lunch break here at work. Um, I will chart that in the next in the next vlog. We'll start the week off of the next vlog. But for this week, yeah, like 1300 words. Um, I'm sitting still at about uh, 53,000 and change. Uh, still need about 1400 words to get to 55,000, which is my hopeful goal for the end of the month, um, for the end of NaNoWriMo. But honestly, I, I'm, I've got a complete working first draft, which is the major goal, not the word count goal, but the major goal. So now I'm rewriting and now I'm beginning to comb through things and finesse things and trying to make it a little bit more presentable so that I can get it into the hands of a couple CPs and start making it really stellar. So that's where I'm at. How are you guys doing? Comment down below, let me know. How is Nano for you? Has anybody won? Have you won Nano at this point? We're in the last final push, the last week of, of uh, November. So let me know, have you won? How close are you? How are you doing? And have you changed your goals based on life? For me, life just was in the way. I decided to do a bunch of house projects rather than writing, which was what was needed needed to be done for the sake of my family. So I put the writing off. But I'd love to know how you're doing. Please tell me down below. Good luck to all of you. I hope the words are with you. And until the next video, bye.